Hey guys, uh, Joe here. Um, I'm the new coach for uh, training for parkour. Uh, today we're just out uh, at uh, OSU's campus enjoying uh, kind of the last nice day of fall. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to get this project started. Uh, we want to kind of keep it a little bit more casual. Um, kind of give you opportunities to see what trains like and um, you know, just to keep it real and show you guys some tips. So yeah, we're just going to be just doing some shooting, some filming today. I think what I'm going to talk about today is really just going to be uh, how to not break your face <laughs> when you're doing parkour. And by that I just mean uh, how do you progress safely into jumps and what are the ways to do that? So how do you hit? How do you bounce back? Uh, and I think a lot of people when they're first starting parkour, they don't really realize that they can take control of their body while moving through the air. So a lot of people have this uncertainty that they think as soon as I commit, okay, I'm just along for the ride, and then there's nothing I can do. And really, that's not true. There's a lot you can do while you're in the air, and while you're moving, that can make a big difference um, and help you out. So yeah, let's get to it. Yep. Yep, Wait. Quiet. Okay, so guys, um, seen a couple of jumps here, and again, the main thought is how do you control yourself um, in the air, and how do you practice it, how do you progress that? The one takeaway that we want to have from a precision jump is the fact that we're landing with our feet first and that we're absorbing the impact with our feet. So when we're doing that jump, we're going to have our feet out and extended and ready to absorb like that. So that way, as we come in, we can absorb through a full range of motion and we can use all the sort of um, structure of the body and the musculature of the body to be able to absorb and redirect that impact. So if you're trying to hit it with a stiff leg or if you're trying to hit it with heels first, it's obviously not going to work well for you. Um, so. Again, if you need a kind of a, I'm going to assume you know how to do a precision jump. So if you don't, just Google that and look at that uh, and find that and you'll be in good shape. So, assuming you know the precision jump, what do we do? How do we control ourselves from not breaking our face when we're doing a jump? So, the first thing we want to do is get used to jumping bounce, bouncing back. So you can do that on steps, just like this. And you can just start anywhere you feel comfortable, super close, super far away, whatever feels good for you and just hit and bounce back. So you're just gonna hit, bounce back. Hit and bounce back. And again, the main thing that we're looking for here is not power, it's not uh, distance, it's not looking super cool while doing this. Really what we're trying to do is be consistent. Because when you're doing a super big jump, if you're not consistent, you're gonna break your face. So, consistency is key. So every time you land, you wanna try and land both feet at the same time and in line. You don't want one foot ahead of the other or something like that. Another thing to do is think about how do you hit a flat wall. So that's that's good if you're trying to do a precision, but what do you do if you're trying to hit a flat wall? Like coming in for a cat leap or something like that, you're coming up short. Well, same idea, same training. It's good to train both. Just jump into it, hit the balls of the feet, and come back. Again, it looks like that. Nice and easy. You can even use your hands there to kind of represent coming into a cat leap, or even just to protect your head and face as you're coming in. You don't want Again, don't break your face. So you just jump up. And that'll also progress nicely into a lot of other stuff. So I'm gonna pretend like you've just jumped to this wall, but you're coming up just short, okay? So you've jumped, you've committed, you're trying to get there, but you just don't, you under either overestimated your power or you just messed up somehow. So a couple things you can do. Uh, one, you can just bounce off like we talked about. So this is really high, keeping the hands out in front to catch and push yourself away. Here we go. And you're safe. Bouncing back, feet hit, hands hit, pushing you away. As soon as your feet hit, that's gonna stop your forward momentum. So all you're gonna do is just drop straight down. So as long as your legs are strong and pushing away and active, you'll be fine. Those drop straight down, and you take the drop. Now what happens if, if it's too big of a drop or it's scary? Well, then you wanna make sure you can do a cat hang and have a good cat leap. Because then what you can do is you can jump to it and you can fall and catch in a cat hang. And then climb up, and you're fine. 
Well, that was never part of the plan. So that's a good uh, showing of uh, if you overjump, just bounce, drop off. Simple as that. This is probably too high for a beginner, but it gives you the idea. Find two ledges that are roughly equal, nice low ground, and work on that, bouncing back, coming back. Don't progress up to height until you're ready, because again, that's going to be a good way to break your face. Um, well, okay, so uh, another little thing guys, uh, when you're trying these bounce back techniques and stuff, uh, wall choice is muy importante. Um, come over here, bring the mic close, 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 close. Hear this. Ah, yes. Nice and scratchy, that means you're gonna get a nice, good grip. Safe. Ah, so much control. That is death. Don't practice on that. It's as smooth as a horse's nose. If you try and do that, you're gonna break your face. Don't break your face. Wyatt here just found a fun little thing. Um, as we were just kind of walking around, and as we were heading back in today, uh, I thought I'd just show it to you guys because I feel like I actually haven't touched on this particular sort of thing. So let's say you wanted to do a little jump here, Oop, and land on this wall right here, but on the other side, bum, 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 there's rocks. So what do you do if you're you're hitting this and like we already talked about the bounce back technique, so right, you can jump, bounce back, and you're safe. And if you stick it, you know, beautiful, you're golden. Oh, YouTube fame forever. Um, <laughs> but what happens if you go over? So let's say you're, you've got a flow route or something, right? And you got some momentum built up, and you're coming in, up, 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 and you're going over, right? So. Instead of like, so the dumb way to do it, which is like falling head first and skydiving down. Um, then the other thing you can do is try and lower your center of gravity, get low to the wall, drop down either onto your butt or spin onto your hands and come into a hang. And you're safe. You're fine, you're not falling. You have it under control. Again, uh, the main philosophy here is don't be a dumbass. And, um, Make sure before you try anything like this, make sure you have all the prerequisites, okay? Don't just go jump into this stuff willy-nilly trying to get your uh, Vine videos. Make sure you have the progression. So for this, make sure you can do a precision jump. Make sure you've tried precisions at low height. Make sure you've tried precisions um, with a little bit of a run-up. And then, when you're doing something like this, make sure that you can do a static cat leap. Make sure you can do a static cat, sorry. Make sure you can do a static cat hang. Make sure you can do a cat leap and make sure you can climb up. Because when you're coming in at with speed, you're gonna need that extra strength to be able to absorb that momentum. And then practice this on rails, on low walls, at ground level. And it's kind of like practicing a uh, vault. So you can practice kind of just jumping to it, popping off, and turning. Um, and you don't need a big wide wall like this. You can do a nice narrow wall or a rail. My storm is turning and I'm broken.